Today is a rough day, kinda. School done gave my son toys. I think they gave toys for all of my kids. Damn, there you go. You gotta take him in the house. I'm not feeling all that good, you know, up to it. Today, I'm still achy, still cranking up, still locking up, but. We're gonna push through the day. My wife going through it right now too. She about calling in and desire home. She said she's sick also, so I don't know. We'll see. I got like a lot of phlegm. It feel like my kidney, so I'm about to um, drink my coffee and drink that water because I think that's why I'm cramping up. I think I'm dehydrated. Here we go. I'm taking upstairs. Set the whole damn thing upstairs. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, you're such a cute baby. Oh, you're such a cute baby. You're such a cute baby. I'm looking tired at it. Hmm. A little tag at it. Nah, let me stop. Let me hurry up and open the damn door. Man, I ain't got no key on that thing. Me, baby. <coughs> yeah, I told you you were going to do it. So lay down right now. I'll bring you in here. Okay. I mean, what? You got to go to the I mean, what? You got to go to the Huh? Yeah. Okay. You can drink as much water as you can. Get some oranges later. And then later, I'm going to try to get some. I'm too achy, too. I was sick first. Now you even desire. And Porter was coughing a little bit. They gave us some um, puzzle box to play with. So as I got in there, like, what you wanna do? They said, down. What you wanna do? What you mean? What I wanna do? Let me do what I wanna do. Let me down. I gotta sit down and talk about what I wanna do. We're gonna have a meeting about what I wanna do. Oh, you? No. Who are you? Kids. Yeah, yeah, all the kids in class. We're gonna sit them down in the circle and ask them what they wanna do. And they tell me how to do it. Just let me do what I wanna do when I get in there. Shit. Do you like the puzzle? He went in there and grabbed that, he didn't even sit down. He just went in there and grabbed that thing and threw it on the floor. And he picked it up, put it on the table for him. And he sat down in his chair and started playing with it. Alright. Speed tree. Keep taking stuff off. You gotta get rid of this mess right here. Put statues on there and stuff. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Find rest of ornaments. Oh, let's go. My breakfast, we got sausages, bacon, eggs, onions, peppers, right here, and a scrambled 
an omelet with cheese. No, like that. That looks so good. Breakfast bowl style. And my strawberry waffles. Okay. I'm just trying to get stuff done. I don't know what they gonna hold. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But we're gonna make something happy today. We still gotta get some more um garnishes. So we only bought the one. I thought I was gonna buy the one because it's 15 inches. Not about 15 feet. But I did say 15 foot long. 15 feet, you know, a foot is 12 inches, so they lie. So it's like this one, they probably didn't lie, it's like that one, but it wrapped around the whole pole with one pole. I thought I was gonna cut it in half, wrap it around the other pole too, see what it looked like, and then go get the rest. I just bought one to see how I like it. But it did come out cute. Still that ideal for somebody, kind of. Not really. Still got to find the rest of my shirt. I got a whole new tree. And we ride. We ride at three trees and we ride. Making some waffles for my wife. Yeah, she wants some waffles. Now, if somebody asks you, how you cooking the breakfast, right? And you're like, what you want me to do? Just make you a waffle? Is that being rude or being smart? Like, I don't think so. And if you think so, I think you're rude. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm going to just get that off my chest right now. If you think me asking you what you want, I think that you suck. That's perfect. Yeah, I really do. I've been waiting a day to eat this. Y'all seen, y'all seen stuff I was going through. Let's get to that bacon and sausage. I'm coming. You want it now? I can't eat it by myself. I'll be back. All right, I'm sitting here waiting for the baby get off the bus. For Pooter get off the bus, yeah, the Pooter. But yeah, I scratch my nose. Yeah, you done got me on my nose. I got a big old scratch on my nose. That's a scab right there on the tip of my nose. Hey, I got to cut his nose. You got to keep his nose cut. But um, two things I wanted to say real quick, like two topics real quick. That's going viral on the internet. And I just wanted to touch on it real quick. One being Ice Spice. I don't technically think that picture is her, but I seen Ice Spice with makeup, and she damn near looked the same. I always, they were saying that she mixed, whatever, but I always thought she was kind of like albino-ish anyway. I was like, now, that's too albino. <laughs> you know, I'm a collector, so, but anyway, <laughs> for real, but anyway, um, and the other subject I wanted to talk about. You know, I just want to say that real quick. You know, she's cute. Well, the other thing I wanted to say was um, what was my everyday carry? Because everybody talking about the everyday carry and stuff. So, like, my everyday carry back in the day was um, Snub Nose Revolver B-57. It's 
Jackson, I'm known as Walker with hollow tips. And I can carry the Mossberg double pip pistol grip with the barrel sawed off, too. This on the tip. Yeah, you know, the double, pump, the double pistol grip hold out like this, but I had it sawed to the pistol grip. Like right there at the end. You know what I'm saying? Those are my everyday carries. Comment below what was what was or what is yours. I don't say what mine is right now. But that what mine was back in the day. Yeah. Especially during winter. And I was surgical with that. So yeah guys look like my wife, um, out for the count for real. Um, just did this rapid test and it got the two lines on it. So I don't know what that means. We're pregnant. Nah, she she got COVID. So yeah, we gotta stay in for a couple days to clear up. She got it. I ain't got it, but. That just to be on the safe side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta figure out this beard. I'm gonna get me some um, color. Color my beard black, you know. Even though I do like the um Marvel Comics super villain look. But yeah, guys. Put her just close the door on her. Hold on. She calls me. I think we gonna just chill out here. Everybody wants y'all here now and just do clothes and stuff and clean up the living room and stuff. Put the air mattress on the floor. <laughs> Everybody like fuck that. <laughs> we got, he got his water. He got supplies. <laughs> Straighten it back up. You got everything looking crazy. Playing with stuff. Bring the water in the kitchen. Bring the water in the kitchen. The whole thing. I don't care if you got to do it one by one. What? You got peppermint. You got the candy canes. You going to bring it in the kitchen? Just do it one by one. Put some in the refrigerator. Yes. Huh? I'm just gonna let you die in here. You on quarantine? Nah, I ain't recording. I'm trying to watch my show. Nah. Alright. Alright. You are recording. How you feel? I'm about to die. You ain't about to die. Can't die for Christmas. Oh, oh my body hurt. Alright. Let me get a body here. Ugh. Where the mask at? Oh my gosh. We need some lights though. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I I'm bring that stuff to you, okay? And a little cure package. And she said she hungry. So we gotta finish this up. It ain't that bad. These socks. Mainly. That I gotta put together. And a lot of my clothes folded up already. And these coats and stuff. That's why I need to put them hooks up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hooks in the wall. Right there where the three dots at. Alright. I guess it's a sick day. Hey. Now, I guess her sickness does trump my sickness, huh? That's great. Woo. Now what that? These men. I want to be like, party. Huh. I got organized her mess. Please, all her.
She just stuck a whole bunch of letters up here and stuff. And stuff she be taking away from Twitter. She just stick up here. And keep them away from it. See, it's like mad scissors up here. <laughs> mad scissors. And this and the paint and letters and mail and folders and stuff. And this art stuff is all right here. It's where she sticks stuff. And about her stuff, she be wanting to get to real quick. She just pile it up here. Okay, look, soap, gauze and stuff. So I got organizers. I want some organizers for this. I think that's why I need to do look boxes of masks and stuff. We got like organizers stick it up here. The cost up, make crazy and everything. Deodorant. And I normally stick it in the drawer stuff, but she blocked the drawers and then she ended up buying these things up over there. It's crazy. So we're gonna organize that again. And last week I just did clear that out. Yeah, remember? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. Same thing. Okay. And then, well, I'm supposed to be getting her some concert, man. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to give her this one with the honey because her throat hurts, okay? So, do this real quick. She got into this. There was two in here. There was two in this pack. That was only one. You see, she be eating my stuff. I had three three packs. Now it's just one from a three pack. I'll save them one. I guess you're thinking it went all all nine of them was mine. That's crazy. Makes I mean, she get bought her own. She do buy her own. That's what's tripping me up. See see how they do. I can't relax. Alright guys, we gotta get the uh, room ready for us. We're gonna get our snacks and stuff and clear everything out and blow up the air mattress and stuff, okay? Y'all wanna watch if? We we'll watch if tonight. Yes. Alright, huh? Just you clap your hands. Is that new smart TV? You just clap your hands and go off. Before you throw. See, clap your hands. You gotta clap them twice. Oh, it'll still work when you clap once? Alright. Alright, guys, we're gonna let her be. Good night. All right, I'll cook you something. All right, bye. She hungry, but she can't eat. I'll give her some water. See, I was trying to be sick. The whole time. Jesse, don't ask Jesse. I need you to get Jesse. Get up, Jesse. Get up. Ah. Now look at her, I'm dying! Ah! Look, you see, there's something about. So, you pick those up from up there, put them on the floor, right? But why? You're not even playing with them. You just put them on the floor. Can you tell me why? So no response. They gonna eventually go on the floor as I get that skirt. Anyway, but leave these alone. We got this coming off. Trust me, though, guys. Trust me. After I get done with everything, it's gonna look real pretty. I just gotta find time to get done with everything. Like they gotta leave me alone. They got, like, let me do what I do. Let me work my Christmas magic. Go. Let me get started with all this. And I'll be back with y'all in, like, in, like, five minutes, man. Five minutes. I just put them on the tree. I don't need You know, you I can't keep shit on the tree. Not an ornament, not a clinic. Okay, we should do it. Well, we should do it, like, the farmer got
Christmas. The night, nah, I'm not on Christmas. The night before. I find Lysa. Alright, she wants some ice cream. Um. She's talking about sprinkles and stuff, so. I guess I'll make her some ice cream. She said, I ain't have no video on there. Can I get some ice cream? I was like. Okay. She already tried to get my waffle cones. I ain't opened them yet. Now you're looking at me like she's an evil villain. Now you're up to something. I don't know what she's up to yet. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Careful! I'm doing a little knot right now. I'm doing a lot right now. You look, she tried to take me out, guys. You caught her on camera. You caught her on 4D. Why are you putting it in? At 4K. Why are you so sweaty? Because I'm sweaty. Because you Because I'm sweaty because I'm sweaty and my muscles. What are you talking about? I can't say that. No, you can't say that. Yes, I did. No, you can't. You no, you can't. Say that. no. Yes, I did. I'll watch all the time. <laughs> I'm hurting. Crazy. Oh my God. Why don't I got stuff in my spot? Like this is literally my spot. No, it's not. Yes, it. Let's see if I said it's my spot. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Know what you can do? <laughs> Kiss my booty. That's what you can do. She ready to beat up. Look All right, she just came home. You can't even. That's why you about to catch it. Catch what? You're gonna be next. You look. <laughs> I want to. I don't want to go to school for the last week. I'm dying. No, I've had COVID for like six, close close to six weeks. Oh, yeah. Close to six weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm gonna feed you. Who's that coming in? Somebody in the hallway? Oh. Alright. Let me put them in their car seats. I'll be back. Alright, we outside. Nighttime chilling. Cool and walk to the side. We do. You ever notice how the weirdest people like to throw around the word weirdo? Like, oh, you're a weirdo. Weirdo, you weird. And they be the weirdest people in the world. Like, they all out of societal norms. But they want to make you think like you're out of societal norms. Like, you're the intelligent person out the group. And they try to make you seem like you're stupid. I think that's the funniest shit in the world. They try to normalize stuff. That's weird. Like, it's literally weird. Then they try to call you weird. And they try to talk down on you for being normal. Oh, and don't be traditional. Oh my God. They try to come down with your head. Like certain things are done certain ways for years because like literally that's the way it's supposed to be done. Like literally. We broke tradition and we fucked around and had slavery. <laughs> that's a joke, that's a joke. But a lot of people who understand they understand what I'm talking about. Of stuff that's about to happen. Things about to go to, back to the way they originally were, and these people are gonna go crazy. I'm talking about way, way back. I'm not talking about thousand years ago, five thousand years ago. You know what I'm saying? A little longer than that. Like a billion, two billion years ago. <laughs> Something in that region. And that's what they try to prevent. They got all y'all. Not understanding your history and your traditions. You don't know what side to pick. You don't know what to stand on. Talk about you stand on business, you stand on nonsense. Y'all stand on slavery. Enjoy y'all. Just want to be. <laughs> Over the slaves. Phil Hen. See, the Phil Hen was slaves and stuff.
it just overseed the other, other slaves. You know what I'm saying? And then later on, after slavery ended, it really didn't end it, just expanded. It just grew, it evolved. He ended up getting some type of ownership of the plantation. But he had to make sure he had no crops ready. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me tell y'all something about your tree names, right? The reason why y'all be having so many problems because you get caught up in the whole business. You know how they say stay out one in business? Right. But y'all don't even just be in women business. Y'all be in straight up hoe business. Like straight up hoes. Like literally. They be hoes and y'all be in their business. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Stupid niggas. I mean, you be wondering why you end up stuck up somewhere. They off leaking, caught up in the game. That's why. Crying on these hoes home and shit. Spilling out your guts to these hoes. You don't even understand. Like. Literally, that's her job. That's her profession. Ain't nobody trying to stop you from doing what you do. Ain't nobody walking in the Walmart like, yo, put it. that box down. Stop stocking these shelves. You shouldn't be stocking these shelves. No, they stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, just messing with y'all. But back to I was talking about original. They got y'all confused. That's the weirdo stuff I'm talking about. Like that. That's weirdo stuff. That's original weirdo stuff. But for me have the opposite opinion of you you think it's weird no it's not weird for me you speak the truth about something you think it's weird for me not to accept your lies you think it's weird this is crazy to me like y'all proving that you really have mental health issues listen you claiming mental health issues you lying to yourself saying this is this and this is this when it's not it's like you setting yourself up and then somebody like me come along like you shouldn't say stuff like that you shouldn't do stuff like that you shouldn't be that way all right, I'm trying to speak common sense to you, and then you attack people like me, right? And then wonder why you end up in a psychiatric ward somewhere with 
people making money off you and no control over your life. Or health issues that was caused by your decisions. Or a life of torment which is caused by your ideology. And then you claim you're woke and you're the most sleep. That's like with this war, right? Anybody who's anybody a sense know what this war is really about? It's an ancient war. It's been going on for years. But since you're so confused. And you take on all these ideologies that you think you brilliantly came up with, but you heard somebody speak about it and you adopted it. You think it's about something else. When I know, and people of common sense, people who realize what it's really about and it's been about like how many times do you have to hear the stories how many times do you have to see it how many times do you have to read about it and know what it's really about you literally talking about a holy war you get taught this in school and you still don't realize like oh this is about this and people did it no it's a holy war that started with two brothers <laughs> it's a holy war and there's people who's portraying these wars and they're not even the original people you get what I'm saying so if they, they, they're trying to fulfill a prophecy and they're not even the people who's supposed to fulfill the prophecy Therefore, the prophecy will never have it been fulfilled and won't be fulfilled until the original people who that prophecy is meant for fulfills it. You get what I'm saying? So they could pick, play th theatrics all they want. It, it, it still doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Who side are you on? None of them. They the same team, bro. They the same team. <sighs> Who land is it really? Mine. Word. It's mine. Kids right now. Let me go get him. Right now I'm at the house cooking steak, man. <laughs> cooking steak, man. Are they twins for real? They twin twins. I. I didn't even know they was twins. I didn't even know it was two. I, I thought it was a catfish. With a remix and a twist. <laughs> I thought it was a. It's not me, but it's really me. I tip this page because, you know, da, 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 this is my per And da, 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 they twist. Y'all be talking about me? So. My mom's funny. My mom is funny. She just tells me talking about something. You need to plan out your videos. You don't need to just be talking all the time, every day, in your videos. That's the text there. You need to do like French or flipping. Talk about black history. Talk about black inventors. No. Sorry. Why would I do something I'm not interested in? 
thing. She basing that. She's saying that based upon my last video, but if she caught the last video and really paid attention to what I was saying, and she was down with the game, you know what I'm saying? If she knew anything about the game and what we talking about, she understand. See, but she don't understand, and that's just what it is. We can't, we can't knock them for not understanding, knowing what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because we talking about something completely above their head. Something that's completely above their pay grade. We talking about millions, billions, and trillions over here. You know what I'm saying? So, how could they have a, it's a, it's a cajillionaire having a millionaire conversation with future millionaires? Tell them, like, yo, don't skip sex. Take your time. This is how you do it. Because you got to build up. Because if you do it too fast, you ain't going to have no liquidity. You're going to have to go back and re redevelop all your cash flow and stuff like that. And have stuff flowing in. Yeah, you're going to end up in a point where you're going to need change. You can build up so much and not have, you can build up a lot and still not have the relationships in order to do what you need to do to move. You know what I'm saying? Me vlogging our lifestyles. I'm showing y'all me rebuild, not rebuilding my situation, but me going back and figuring out what I missed and taking care of what I missed. You know what I'm saying? We talking about metaverse, NFTs, cryptocurrency, all types of assets, liquidable assets, tangible assets, tangible goods, intangible goods, and assets, and things like that. How do whoop, 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 look. She still texting me. See what she said. A, a lady named Missy Faye sit and talk like a relationship counselor, but you have to make a topic interesting film when they are asleep so they don't, so they are not in it. And she missed the whole point. I'm not film my fam. Listen, that's the whole point of a vlog channel. You see, it. Is vlogging, and the whole point of it is capture my lifestyle and what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? To see the struggles, the transparency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of young players out there. And y'all people out there that's coming up in the game. And they learn it. There's a lot of us out here that's teaching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is a big family treat. And everybody, you know, you comes from being in uh career path for so long that you wasn't able to
be interruptible. Career path. The rep career path that you did got like tarnished or spoiled. You don't know what happened with it. And then you've been out of like regular work for so long. You know what I'm saying? And you teaching them and showing them how to actually come up. I don't know what she talking about. And that's the thing. A lot of times, people try to tell you how to do your thing. You feel what I'm saying? What you do. That's the problem. They sat back and watch you do you, and they didn't want to tell you how to do you. And it's not hate. I would like to see you get paid, but you need to change your structure. I wouldn't need it. I would not tell you nothing wrong. Look at a lot of people who getting lots of views. And that's the thing. She's not a part of this culture. You feel what I'm saying? She don't know the people who get a lot of views. Like, honestly, she don't. Like, the connections to people and the conversations we be having, and like, she don't know none of them people. Like, she don't even know they exist. And I try to show her, and she be like, oh, that's stupid, and da 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 why you got that, and why you doing this, and da 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 And I showed her people, showed her people who in the game, in this um, content creation game, who got mansions and big old cars and stuff like that, and actually doing it. And she don't hear nothing about it. That's the sad part about it. That's what's crazy. Like, you gonna tell me about I bring people I got more subscribers <laughs> but it is what it is you know what I'm saying it's stuff like this it made me go hard and things like that you know me actually knowing you feel me Like, as much as I talk about my book, my book that I just dropped, and as much as I post it, and many times I've seen the little clips, I bet you she don't, still don't realize that I got book out, another book out. She don't even know about the first book, let alone the second book. And, like, she know about the shoe that I got. But she don't know I got shoes out. Like, sneakers out. And shoes and stuff like that. I don't think. And, like, a clothing line out. Like, 
A lot of people will be thinking like, oh, these dreams, this is what he wants. This is what he's trying to do. And they're not realizing that this is what I'm doing. And you don't argue with those people about what you're doing. You just do what you do. Make money and keep it moving. It's not. It's never about. When you got stuff going, it's never about if you're going to make money. If you got stuff going and you keep it going, it's about when you're going to make money. You understand? So it'd be that one day that you hit. Like, in my other business, I shut it down because of the stuff that was going on. I shut it down way before I, all this stuff started happening. Because I see what was to come. But. It'd be that one day. Like, it's nothing, nothing hit, nothing hit, nothing hit. Ain't nothing there. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Next thing you know, for some reason, everything started shaking one day. Next thing you know, I got 10 bands. Next thing I know, I got 20 bands, 30 bands. You know what I'm saying? And then, boom, ain't nothing happened again. Then another time, I got $500. Then a couple more days later, I got another 10 bands. You know, it'd be like that. That's business. Your goal in business, though, is to figure out how to make everything consistent. You know what I'm saying? Find a system and make everything consistent and have the money pouring in. Like, even with this, there's no telling what the CPM is going to be like. Because even with me doing vlogging, I talk a lot about business. I talk about a lot about hustling. And getting your money up and how to start and glitches and stuff like that. So, it's no telling. You feel what I'm saying? But then I do pranks sometimes. It's, I do little blogs with the family. I do vlogs by myself. Sometimes I just sit and talk to you. I do gaming content, all that. So, there's no telling. You feel what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Honest, my mom is not my audience. Quite frankly. And that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm a Mr. Beast. And she wouldn't even watch Mr. Beast content. You feel what I'm saying? My mom wouldn't sit down and watch Mr. Beast. But I would sit down and watch Mr. Beast. I sit down and watch Mr. Beast. You get what I'm saying? So, you got to understand that everybody not going to be feeling your content like that. That's just the truth of it. You feel me? That's just the realization of it. I used to be naive even think like, oh, everybody going to watch me. Everybody going to love me. I'm lit. Da, 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 da. I get it popping. Everybody in the mama going to love me. Da, 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 da. 
But th that's naive thinking. Like, you could be optimistic and think that way. That's cool. You know. But in all actuality, everybody not going to watch you like that. And that's just the realization of being creator. And then your reach is something completely different. Because you can have a lot of subs and subscribers and followers, but if you can't put yourself in front of them every day consistently, they might forget about you too. And not saying like in a bad way, but they forget like, oh, post it up to a certain people that make you go to their page every day. Like every day. They make you go to their page every day to check to see if they drop something or when they drop something. It's people now that I check in on and make sure they ain't drop nothing and see like, oh, all right. Oh, they drop something. I'm watching this. You feel what I'm saying? And you got to recreate that feeling for other people. It's people who won't drop something for nine months. But you still be waiting for them. You wait for them to post. You're like, oh my God, when is this dude going to post? When is he going to post? And you go back and look at his old content and stuff like that. And like, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> he post something yet? <laughs> but just because you feel that way about that person, not going to mean somebody else feel that way about that person either. And it's about making as many people as you can feel that way. Give them a reason to feel that way. You feel what I'm saying? You got to make them want to see you. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? And that's just how it is. It's about making people feel good. That's one of the keys. If you can make people feel good, you're going to go a long way. All right, guys. King J. Smooth. And I'm out. Peace out, Royal Family.